Hey guys, I am trying a food truck. It's a vegan food truck that I guess is being a really big deal here in Fresno. Had some of my coworkers come up and ask me like, have you tried this? I tried it on a whim. It was amazing. I'm not vegan. It's amazing vegan food. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I got a whole bunch of um, non-vegan people telling me that it's amazing. So they beat me to the punch, <laughs> which is cool. Um, so I took a break today at work and I was like, I'm gonna go get some food. It's a couple blocks away from my work. So I was like, eh, I'll make a run for it. We'll see how it turns out. But um, yeah, let's open up the box and see what this looks like. I have not peeked yet. Um, so let's take a look together. Oh my goodness, would you look at that. So I got their burger, which it does say they use Beyond Beef for their burgers. Um, so I have an idea of what that should taste like, but hopefully they put some extra seasonings on there. I got their loaded fries with it as well. Once again, that should be Beyond Beef on there as well. Um, yeah, this looks amazing. Now, I am not going to eat this in my car because it looks very messy and I still have to work today. So I'm going to go eat this at work. Uh, but I wanted to show you that is, I thought it was going to look good. It looks amazing. It smells amazing. I'm going to have to drag Kim down here because it is kind of away from our home. Hi guys, welcome back. So today I was thinking we could hang out in the kitchen together because here was my thought. Maybe I'm wrong, but still it could be fun. Uh, it is Super Bowl Sunday, most likely when you're watching this. And I was thinking since this post in the morning and the games later, you might be in the kitchen cooking up something. You gotta do something, you know? And we could do it together. We'll hang out today. Uh, I also have some packages too that I just got in. I was like, you know what? Let's just make it all of the above. I'll show you what I got. Cause of course I did order more granola and they have new flavors safe and fair. They do. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you guys that. I also got a ton of new crazy go nuts, uh, walnuts in. I have them linked below my friends. They are such a go-to. We love them, but I have a bunch and I'm going to be doing a giveaway on my Instagram here soon. And one of you will get this too. Uh, so be sure you're following me over there, but look, it's so cute. Quit staring at my nut sack anyway, but I have to say, I'm jealous because you saw what Nate had earlier this week. I have not had that. I have not. So we have to go back. Didn't that look amazing? He said it was. This guy. Today, what I thought I would make, and I have this recipe already, um, but I have not made it in a long time, which is weird because I remember I was like on such a kick of making it week to week, but I have a recipe for protein pancakes. And what's cool about them is you can make a ton in advance and then freeze them and then you just use them as, you know, pop them out as needed. And there's just a really nice go-to. And I was thinking, I even asked Nate before he left for work, I was like, do you want more of those? He's like, yeah. I'm like, well, okay. So we're going to do that. But as one does going through their laundry room, I found an old oh, waffle maker. And instead of doing them as pancakes, I think that's heating up. I don't even know if it fully works, but we're gonna do them as waffles. I think it'd be really good either way. But waffles are usually better because then it really holds the peanut butter that you add on top. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna make another batch of some pico as well, cause I just cannot get enough. I shared with you guys on the last vlog that I did, uh, or the, I'm sorry, the what I eat in a day. And I put pico on like a loaded baked potato. It was amazing, it seriously was. I kind of think it was like what made it the best part. It's such a weird pairing, but it was so good. So I highly recommend it. So I might make another batch of that. But anyway, let's start these pancakes. I actually have a new uh, egg replacer that I wanted to share with you guys too. They sent this over to me. It's a newer company called Pegs. And isn't their packaging so cute? Look at the little chicks. So it's like a chickpea. Yeah, made by chickpeas, not chicks. It's cute. Uh, chickpea, potato starch, flaxseed, nutritional yeast, black salt. So it definitely will have that like egg flavor then, or it should, because that is a, an ingredient that you would normally add like if you were making a tofu scramble uh, and you really do want it to have that eggy flavor, you always add black salt. That can be a hard ingredient to find actually though, but apparently you can literally make this powder 
uh, as actual scramble too. I thought this was just kind of like to use for baking, which is what I'm gonna do right now, but no, you can do omelets, you can do scrambles, and then of course baking as well. I don't know, we're gonna try it out, but I'll link them below, but they're a newer company. We're gonna do three cups here of buckwheat flour. What's cool about this, and what I, I remember finding this as a go-to for myself, gosh, probably like three years ago now when I was just trying to find, you know, other sources of protein in general. Where could I make replacements that just up my protein? And that's when I found buckwheat flour. I think it's really, really good. And it is also gluten-free. I get this off of Thrive Market mostly as it's a good price there, but you can find this at other places too. I know Sprouts has it, pretty sure Whole Foods has it. It's good, I really like it. I've used it many, many times. Okay, so three cups of that. And then you're gonna do three, or I'm sorry, two servings of whatever protein powder you like. I'm gonna use this uh, Orgain, the peanut butter chocolate one, cause hello, that'll be delicious. And again, two servings, so that's gonna be four scoops of this. What's nice about using an actual protein powder is this is where you're kind of getting your sweetness from. So you're not adding like additional sugar to this at all. And this one's really good. And I've done it with just chocolate, with vanilla, like protein, I mean, the flavors. It's all good, but I think this one's gonna be real good with the peanut butter too. And then we're gonna do half a tablespoon, I, again, recipes linked below, but half a tablespoon each of baking powder and baking soda. Right now in the background, <laughs> I have the TV going. I have the movie on open water. Do you guys remember that movie? Oops, it's fine. You guys know me and baking. Oh man, that came out like what, early 2000s, I think? If you're not familiar, you probably at least, like if you haven't seen it, you probably have heard about it. Like the couple that goes out on like a scuba diving adventure thing and then get left behind. Girl, stop. <laughs> I love the ocean. I love aquatic creatures. But I always even have the joke, my favorite is probably sharks. I love them. I find them so fascinating. But the joke is I respect them so much that I stay completely away from them. <laughs> so then some cinnamon for your final dry ingredients. You could add like bananas and stuff to it, but you don't even need to. And then this just however much you want. It don't matter. Whisk it up. And then we're going to do that egg. So it would normally be like three eggs or replacer, of course. And so we're gonna do a fourth cup of this and a fourth cup of water is two eggs. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more. It doesn't have to be like perfect at all. I wonder if this has like a stronger smell because of that black salt. A little bit, like it has kind of that sulfury egg kind of, you know the smell, you know. Oh, it definitely smells. It's not a bad thing, but oh, girl. what? I could see this being a really good scramble. It makes sense. Speaking of this movie again, have you ever, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but have you guys ever done scuba diving? I have not. However, when I say it, I don't know if I've told you this. Nate and I went to Puerto Rico probably 10 years ago now. It was actually partially like a work trip that they won like to go to this and so we went. It was the longest time I had ever spent on a plane. You guys know I hate flying, it's my biggest fear, I don't like it. And whew, I don't know how I did it, I don't know. But that was kind of one of the last times. I think I've been on a plane once since and it was only like a 45 minute flight and that's enough for me. But we did do a snorkeling a little adventure. Like they still took us out on the ocean, took us to an area and then uh, yeah, we did the whole snorkel thing, but not true scuba. And I was so scared, but it was cool. It was. Once I kind of, you know, let go a little bit, but I kept my eye on that boat the whole time. I've seen this movie. I know what happens. <laughs> but have you ever done that? I mean, again, I think it'd be so cool to like really see some stuff, but I don't know. Put in your egg. 
And then I'm gonna use three cups of this flax milk with the added protein. On the recipe, it shows to do three cups of soy milk. And the only reason I say to do that is because if you're looking again to find a protein pancake recipe or waffle, uh, you know, you try to find milks or sources that are, you know, higher in protein, but you can use almond milk, you can use whatever you want, but that's just why I suggest it. Does not matter. And then you just pour it all in and mix. It should be pretty thick, but not like thick, thick. Does that make sense? So tomorrow, again, when you're seeing this, like more than likely anyway, Nate and I are gonna go out on the trail again. <sighs> we're gonna earn those Super Bowl snacks. <laughs> but we're gonna do that in the morning, so I might be on that mountain when you see this. But here's what happened though. I'm kind of bummed about it, but we're gonna make it work because I at least got some oranges here. And I tell you, when I do those kinds of trail runs, I crave, you know what I crave most? Oh my goodness every time too and it's like i would do crazy things to get it <laughs> watermelon i crave watermelon right when we're done I'm like where's the watermelon but sometimes that's just not in season uh or i just didn't think of bringing watermelon but i'm telling you i want it but oranges are good too but i have a haul for you guys tomorrow and uh it's from walmart and I haven't done one in a while, like the grocery pickup from Walmart. So I love to do those on weekends like this, where it's like a holiday weekend or again, Super Bowl. I think this weekend's technically both. So I was like, yeah, I'm avoiding the stores and it's a perfect time to do it. The downfall is that a lot of the times what happens, they run out of the items. And so I didn't get like 10 things on this order and it wasn't even like they tried to substitute it. They just didn't have it. I'm like, great. <laughs> so I wanted to bring some protein bars and just quick things for when we're done. And I don't have those, but I was thinking of even making these nut butter bar mix, the no bake ones. Might do that because then that'll work, you know? It's not a crisis, it's not. But I was like, really? <laughs> anyway, so that will be tomorrow, but it ended up kind of being a smaller haul than I anticipated because, because of that. So hopefully I can redeem myself the next week. Nate and I did go on a little run this morning. We don't want to do usually too much the day before doing a trail because don't kill out the legs, you know, uh, yet. <laughs> We got that in, so I've technically done six runs this week. Hope my legs make it tomorrow. <laughs> kind of like that. Now they will be darker looking because of the protein powder, but also the buckwheat flour too. And then when I do make the pancakes, I usually do like a half cup or like a third cup. These, This is a little bit small. So I don't know, let's try a little less than half on each side and see where we're at. I didn't spray that. <laughs> Probably should have. <laughs> you know, you know what? Okay, let me spray this half. Spray it, okay. We'll see. but we'll have these ready when we actually get home. I won't bring them with us, but we just need something when we get home. This is what happens though. I think we have to add more and then it spews over. Okay. We'll just give that a minute. I meant to put some vanilla in that, but I forgot. It'll be fine. The protein powder, I swear, gives it all the flavor. Speaking of which, First item to show you guys, I got a new protein in 
and I tried the wild strawberry uh, flavor a couple days ago. It was delicious and I was a little bit surprised, honestly. Not that I was expecting it to be bad, but you know how I've mentioned to you guys when I do share protein powders like Orgain, um, I have the Sun Warrior one, I tried another chocolate mint one. I always tell you guys if it has stevia in it, which I don't personally mind. Obviously that does bring more sweetness to it, but a lot of you don't prefer it. And this does not have it at all on any of them, I don't believe because they're different flavors and stuff, but I do not see that in here at all. And it was still really, really good. Sometimes if they don't have it in there, it can just not be like the best flavor. It was awesome. I just blended it with uh, strawberry banana and then it was a wild strawberry flavor. Ooh, delicious. So anyway, it's called New Zest, if I'm saying it right, New Zest, New Zest, Clean Lean Protein. And we've got coffee, coconut, and MCTs is the flavor. Real coffee, we'll see. And uh, vanilla matcha, they have so many flavors, uh, different kinds, you know, that you don't typically see. Chai, turmeric, and maca, which is really good for you. Clean, lean, protein, rich chocolate. This one looks just a little different on the label. And then smooth vanilla. But here's the other thing with them. They're, they range from like 18 grams of protein to 20, just depending on the flavor. Again, they're like 100 calories or 90 for one serving. That's a lot of protein too for that calorie. Plus it's like one gram of carbs. So it just made me think of you guys too for those that kind of do watch that. Like you kind of can't beat this. Now, again, I haven't tried all the flavors, but I will tell you that strawberry one was delicious. Yeah, this matcha one has pea protein, matcha green tea, natural vanilla flavor, and thematin, the 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 I might be butchering that, but maybe that's like the sweetener that like gives it more, you know, a sweetness versus stevia. Okay, it's starting to steam. Don't you usually wait till it's done steaming. We'll see. So I'll link them below, my friends. Check them out. Like, I was impressed. I really was. So I got some of those to try out still. There's box one <laughs> to share with you guys. And then let me show you while that's still going. You're not supposed to open it, huh? Oh, it's so hard for me. Uh, the safe and fair order of the granolas and popcorn. Anyway. So they just launched a popcorn flavor and just regular sea salt. Again, they're really known for a lot of their flavors being like the super sweet ones, like birthday cake. I ordered one, but I already ate it. That's the truth. So good. And this is kettle pop too. Delicious. I love their snacks. It's so good. Um, and then I did see though, the only one that doesn't speak to me, cause I've told you like their whole website is like a favorite of mine on like all of their things. But they did recently do a popcorn that is like dill flavored. I bet people love it. I just don't do that. I don't like dill. I don't like pickle. I ain't about it. <laughs> but I did see that's on there. And then before I get into the granolas, I also have tried their pea protein chips. This is the sea salt one here. They're really good. They're kind of like in between a potato chip meets like a rice chip, like a rice puff chip kind of. They're really good. And the Hickory Barbecue, I've had those ones before. Like I said, they're really, really good. Um, protein too in them, nine grams, and you get about 23 chips for 120 calories. That's what I like to hear. All right, let's get into the new granolas. That's right called Full Stack. It's gonna taste like pancakes. Oh my gosh. You know, these aren't even open. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, so good. They're gluten-free. There's nine, top nine allergen-free and it's just like my favorite granola hands down. Like all of their flavors, amazing. So good. I have this link below too with a 20% off uh, coupon link. So got some, you know, another one of those. <laughs> and then the other new flavor they just launched is the vanilla latte. Does that not scream me? Oh, get 
got that. There's that. And there's two more. When I did the what I eat in a day last week, I didn't technically have a shake that day, but I do a lot of the times, I do. And when I make one, I've showed it so many times that I'll put a little granola at the bottom and then a little bit on top and then just eat it with a spoon. So good, so good. So that was my order that I did. I needed it. We have so much. And if you ask me like, what's my favorite flavor? What do I recommend? Any of them. <laughs> See if this worked. Uh, I don't know if this is the best tool for it, but okay, okay. Hey. I think I can put a little bit more into it too. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Actually, it didn't really stick either. Well, I'm not putting any spray then. Look at you, little waffle maker. Yeah, I used to make these though so often. Also got my Starbucks this morning. I went ahead and did the cold version and they were out of Trenta cups. So they put two like into two grandes and I stuck one in the freezer. So it's a little icy. Mm -hmm. By the way, I ordered, let's all take a little moment and send me all your positive energy and any anything you got because I just ordered uh, a pair of jeans. I don't have them yet. Uh, from Old Navy, which I feel like they run a little big typically from what I remember. And I got a size six and I don't believe there is much stretch to them. We'll see. <laughs> I don't really care, but I'm like, I can't tell you when I, I don't think I was ever a six. I think I, I know, <laughs> not that I remember, <laughs> but these are an eight and but they're stretchy and so but they're really really big on and even Nate's like gives you saggy butt <laughs> well they're comfortable but i'm gonna try we'll see yeah let's see what happens there it'll be fun okay two tomatoes two roma tomatoes this recipe i also have but i mean it is very simple it's kind of the ingredients that you expect in pico um, and chop them up and there you go but I do think it makes a difference with the garlic do one clove of garlic in your little batch but grate it don't chop it just grate it in there it's good it is okay she's still steaming over here should we check this is working Fabulously. Okay. Look at that. All right. Um, all right. So then the next thing is some cilantro, which I used to hate. So weird. It's in my kitchen. I hit my steps just buzzed on my wrist. I was like, what is that? <laughs> but yeah, this morning we did, like I said, um, we did like four miles, which really isn't like light, but we did walk some, so it wasn't like super fast or anything. I feel fine, but ask me tomorrow. <laughs> if you are making snacks, should have already asked, what you making? What are you making? My parents are gonna make um, some loaded baked potatoes again. So I actually took out the freezer portion I had of the benevolent bacon, put it in the fridge. And then again, I'm gonna take this pico cause I'm gonna do it again. It was so good. <laughs> White onion, although I've been making it with uh, purple, red onion, and it's been really good too. So either way, but traditionally, white onion. Ew, that one doesn't look good. Don't you hate that? Well, part of it is, so. We'll just do that. Never happened. Actually about half an onion is pretty good. I usually do two to three uh, Roma tomatoes at a time. It takes quite a bit still. 
but I do feel like it is one of those recipes, seriously, like the longer it sits in like the lime juice and everything together, it tastes even better than like making it fresh and like eating it right away. It's good, but it's just, it's got it all like marinate together. Oh, they just realized they, they're both gone. Mm -mm. I mean, I said that the whole snorkeling thing was fun and it was, but ask me if I've ever done it again. Nope. I remember like right where we were, Oh, I just saw their first shark. It was okay and it wasn't super, super deep, but you literally would look to like your right and you would just watch the water under, from underneath, like be clear, clear, dark, 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 blue, black. Like you could see that it just, how deep it got. And I'm like, mm -mm, no, I didn't like that. I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, take like a micro plane, one clove of garlic grate it in there. So delicious. And then yeah, some lime. One to two, depends how juicy it is. What else am I missing? I feel, you always feel like you're missing something, but I don't think so. I think that was it. What else have I like done that's like those, you know, I've never, <laughs> never skydived. I remember I, I said a lot of the times like growing up and even in my 20s, I'm like, yeah, I want to do that. I want to do that at some point. I really don't. <laughs> I'm good. I'm fine. <laughs> um, never have. I, I have never officially bungee jumped. But I did do kind of one, I remember in Reno, Reno, Nevada, I did do a, it's kind of like a simulated one. I mean, it's tall, it's up there, but was it off of a bridge? No. Uh, was, I did do it. I did. Oh, I did one of those like simulated ones too at Six Flags once too. Again, this was like my teens or early, early 20s. I am kind of that adrenaline girl, like that junkie, right? But I'm not, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'm not. <laughs> Do I have anything else to show you? I have all those nuts. But again, I will have a giveaway for you guys, too, on those. Okay, this is fabulous. All right. Let that, let that be. Let me show you some of these nuts. So they're all, again, they're all walnuts. My, there's tons of flavors. I did see, because they send them over to me and I, for years now, and I'm, they're such a favorite of mine. And even if you're not a huge walnut person, I feel like walnuts in general, a lot of people aren't like, it's not their favorite out of the nut family. Uh, but these are so good and they're amazing in baking, seriously amazing. And then they even have nut butters too. And I've used those multiple times in baking for like if something calls for peanut butter or for almond butter, use their nut butter, it's amazing. Uh, but their flavors are just so good. My favorite's probably oatmeal cookie, but they're delicious, all of them. Banana, I think that's Nate's favorite. This is the new one, garlic parmesan. So they even have some that aren't like sweet. Buffalo. Orange. And then here's some of the nut butters. Here's a banana one. Got oatmeal cookie. Coconut. And then chocolate. Chocolate espresso. Yup. So good. I highly recommend. All right. I'm gonna keep making these up. I hope you have fun hanging out with me, talking about sharks, going in the water, and then not doing it again. <laughs> you know, but we got some food prep, give you some ideas. We've done what we needed to do. But let me know what's on your Super Bowl agenda. What are you eating? Anything good? Uh, and I hope you have a great, great day. And I will see you guys tomorrow for a haul and then later in the week. Have a good day, guys.